Today is the day that we fix this little tiny mob farm and make a super overpowered one. Alright, so I've cleared out the old mob farm over here. You know, now we're not getting any good monies. So let's go ahead and take this diamond chest. We're going to put it over here. Uh, we're definitely going to be needing this later on because of all the extra items we're going to be getting, like these zombie heads and skeleton heads and stuff like that. Uh, I also went ahead and, you know, broke those, broke the quest chest. We're going to make this thing look really, really good. Now, we need to figure out what kind of block we really want to build the outside of this with. Um, I've been looking around and I can't really find anything that's cheap to make but looks phenomenal because those are like my favorite blocks, right? Right, everyone can agree. Um, so, I mean, there's not a whole lot of building blocks in this, unfortunately, but I think we're gonna go with concrete, uh, which is going to require a lot of, actually, it would look weird if we did concrete because it would stand out a lot. I think we're just gonna do stone brick and wood, just like we've been doing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting a whole bunch of stone brick made up and we're gonna go make it. It's gonna look beautiful just like everything else, yeah. All right guys, so I think I know what we're gonna be making this mob farm look like. I've been kind of messing around with a few designs here and this is the one I think we're gonna go with. It's a lot like our original one, but it's gonna use, I think four stacks is where I wanna have it. Now, because the Cursed Earth doesn't need any type of like, like low lighting or anything like that, we can go ahead and make this three tall. And on this level, this is where we'll put the cursed earth on the second level. We're gonna make, yeah, we'll make this four tall because we're swimming in the monies. Yeah, baby. Okay, so coming out over here like this, and we'll put uh, glass blocks in between so we can see the mobs getting pushed in between the levels. Like so. Uh, I think we're going to cap it off here like that. Yeah, who made it. Got that skill. And then we're going to push them at their feet. So that way it's easier. Okay. And I'm going to build the first level with you guys. And we're actually gonna, going to test it out. Um, so let's see here. Like so, we're gonna put wood up in there just for now, so that way we can test this properly. I don't want anyone going out the top. Okay, and then we will also, I don't know how we're gonna do the spike setup. I think we're gonna do something very similar to the, the prior one. Um, yeah, just like that. Uh, actually, Actually, we can't do it like that. We need to come in one. So we need to have them stop somewhere. So we'll just have like this here. And we can have, we'll need to put this somewhere. We can put that like right there. And a vacuum guy. Actually, we're not gonna, we're actually, I don't know what I'm saying. We're going to use a vacuum chest, but we're also going to use an ender chest to get all of our items over here into our system. Into our system. Okay, and then ender. Ender chesticle, just like so. And then um, we're going to need some dye. Do we have any dye? Uh, let's see if we can intercept some ink sacs coming in. Is the ink sacs not working anymore? Uh, on. Yeah, okay, so it, it's working, but that was a little slow. That was a little slow. Uh, this has been working like a freaking dream. Look at that. We're just getting a whole bunch of EMC whenever we freaking want. Okay, so maybe we're not going to use that dye. Uh, do we have any flowers? Like uh, roses, maybe? Or... Let's see. I'm going to Minecraft. Oxide Daisy. Okay, so we do have... We can make two of these. Cool. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put these down next to each other. We're gonna make the middle one yellow. That way these two are linked and we have a different channel. You need to be very careful at holding. Yeah, I was holding down the uh, the grave key and that's the for vein miner or ore excavator, whatever, whatever it's called. 
and we need to be very careful. Okay, so this is just going to go like that. And I think we're going to have one of these on each level. Uh, that way we don't have to like worry about that. This one it can only reach out that far because it'll just be it'll just be better. Just trust me. Uh, we're also going to put a torch here, a torch here. Uh, up top is going to be bad. Yeah, I yeah 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 yeah. We need to get this set up quick. We need to get these to set up quick. Um, I just put it here. Oh, this is going to hurt. <gasps> Placed it wrong. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ow. Ow, frick. Frick. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I didn't think that through at all. Okay. Um... Thank you. Got all of our stuff back. Dang, that thing went through us real quick. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh. Freaking nuts. This is nuck and futz. Okay, so that's all. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Whew. Alrighty, let's place this here. Uh, where's my Yetta wrench? Need my Yetta wrench. Yetta, Yetta, Yetta wrench, 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 wrench. I freaking love shaders on this guy. I'm not going to lie. It's like freaking awesome. Okay, so we need our wrench. This should be able to turn it, which is what we need. We need the need for speed. Oof, we got some Enderman there. It's getting real, real shady. Um. Okay. I don't think this was a good idea. Uh, I tested this wrong. Uh, we all make mistakes. Um. I am kind of worried. Okay, so we should be kind of all right. Endermen don't really worry me all that much. This isn't set up. Okay, so let's set let's set this up. <gasps> Did you get sucked up in here? No, you're still there. Okay. All right. So, that's really weird. <laughs> we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So, I think I think we're okay to put the blocks back down like this. That will prevent anyone from getting out. Those endermen are going to be there. While. I need to go ahead and get some of the expansion upgrades. I will be right back. All right, so I am currently smelting up some more glass here, but guys, this is what, we, what I've decided to go ahead and do. I really do like this system here. Uh, so each of these, are they're all basically the exact same over here. Uh, they basically just do that. Um, but instead of having spikes down here, they just have a little slot to fall down. And the only ones we do have to worry about the falling down are the Endermen, because when they hit, they do have a chance of teleporting. But with this little uh, Ender inhibitor thing, um, we don't really have to worry about that. The Endermen can fall down here and they won't teleport because of that guy. So that's very, very cool. Uh, I'm currently working on the last floor up there. We have a total of four, uh, but we need to have a spot for all of this. And I don't know how that guy got over there. So we might need to put one of these on each one of them just to make sure these guys aren't spawning uh, over there. But it looks like he took some damage and then spawned away. I don't know how that didn't piss him off because I just looked right at his crotch. Anyway, so we need to worry about this stuff over here. And I think that we're going to go ahead and put it on this wall right here. Um, so that means we need the ender chest up at the top. And we're going to go from the top down. So I'm going to grab these real quick. And those are going to get put over here. That's okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to be making quite the dough once we get this all set up. So this one's going to be down at the bottom here, like so. Uh, it's going to be the very bottom one. And then the two, uh, this will be here like that. And then this one will be on top of it. I don't know. Can I place that? Yes, I can, because I'm skilled. And then let us see here. Put that there. That will allow me to build up two blocks. We can go ahead and put the ender chest on top of that. So the inner chest will go up here like so, and then we will take out the items from the back. Uh, I don't have any of my conduits. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we might need to get like a, a mob multi, um, multi nullifier. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. We're also going to need to get an experience vacuum as well. Uh, but let's see here. We need some conduit first. 
And this will... Oh, I have the conduit on me. Son of a nutcracker, dude. Son of a butt cheek that hurt like a stick. I don't know. I, I totally said that line wrong, but I don't really care. Okay, so we're going to put this guy here. And we're going to be extracting... Yes. Like so. And then these are all... Oh, shoot. Okay, so this will be inserting, this will be inserting, and this will be inserting, but we'll put the priority of this to negative one. Okay. So that should mean that we should have items starting to come out of here. Yes. Yes, it does, but we need to make it faster. It is not nearly fast enough. We need our items pronto. So let's get some speed upgrades. Yes, we have just a few. Uh, we just need a total of 15. Okay, cool. I'm going to kill that guy dead after I sleep right by him. Oh, shoot. Enderman, I'm so sorry. almost forgot how to fight one of those guys. <laughs> Woo, glad I didn't. <laughs> Starting backup. Cool, we're done. All right, so... Let's get some speed upgrades in there, and we're going to start to get lots and lots of monies. Especially when I do this. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah. So these are going to be coming in. All of the one-off items are going to stay up in here. Um, and I actually think it might be a good idea to have maybe just like a, the diamond chest here as well. Uh, we might put that up on top which wouldn't be a bad idea. We'll put it to like a negative two. That way all of these items are getting out. But I think we should be okay for that. Uh, yeah, this seems to be working really well. Ooh, wow, almost ran off the edge. That would have been silly. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I want this to be profound. I don't want this like that. We're going to go like this. And it's going to be kind of sunken in like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I don't like it. I might need to bring this forward just one more, which I'll probably end up doing off camera. I won't do that now, but let's go ahead and grab the glass here. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing these up top. How many do we have left? We have 10, so we need a total of, I think, eight more. We need this. We need eight of these, I believe. Yes, yeah, so we have 18 now. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and grab the glass. Uh, I don't know if that's quite enough here, so we can go ahead and make up some more sand while we wait. Uh, I'm still using this method. I don't know if I showed you guys this, uh, but if you go like this, um, gravel and the flint, uh, it's kind of a lucrative process of getting a heck ton of protein, or not protein, but the silicone dioxide. It's kind of an automated way to do this. If I make this faster, we can do it a lot better, uh, but we'll have to worry about that later. I do have enough stone brick. Let's work on this last area up here. It is quite the way up. And I'm going to leave these ladders here because I want to be able to access each individual one, stuff like that. So I'm putting just a bunch of wooden blocks down so that way I can walk on them and build this properly. And we're just going to go like this. Uh, come over. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send the stone blocks right over. And it's very simple. Um, just come over here. Uh, normally I just land on that and build up one. But we can do that too. Cool. It's like, it's weird because I'm off camera. I'm like, I'm a pro at this. I don't have to worry about it. But as soon as I start recording, I get all nervous. I'm like, I'm going to die like an idiot or something. And so we'll put this here because we won't be able really seeing this from the bottom, but we will be able to see this. Or we won't be able to see this from the top, but we'll see it from the bottom. And there's a little bit of depth. So F7. Right, we're going to put these one block in. And nothing can spawn up here. Good. So no more F7 for you. Cool. So we don't have to worry about anything spawning up there anymore. Um... There we go. So now we're here, and we just got to fill all of this in. Yeah. And I, we don't have enough to completely cover this yet. Um, that's why I did that. Cool. So fill this in, and then there is a lever on the back of this that you flick on or off. Um, we're going to put these all the way up, like so. And then there's some ladders in the back so I can access. Oop! And access these. Oh, there is no lever on the back. 
did I not make enough? I didn't make enough levers, huh? A lever lever. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna put the final glass in, which is gonna be awesome, because that means we are almost done with this project. And so I like to do the back, I think six or nine. Um, I think I'm gonna do nine. That way it's a little easier. I'm gonna come over here and then we're gonna place it like this. Cool, he gone. Stupid idiot shooting me. Cool, so there's all of that. Go ahead and we'll place this here like that. So now no one can get out. This farm is completely sealed off from the outside world. Cool, let's go ahead. And we're gonna place a torch over there and over there. There, there we go, cool. And then we're gonna come over to the back. And we're going to flip the switch, Igor. And this has all of them, right? Yes. Cool. So this thing is done. We are done, except for the EXP collector we're going to be making here in the next few episodes. Uh, because it does require some soul sand, which we don't have access to yet. That I think could be, uh, make a good video, making the soul sand. There we go. So yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. This is delish. Mm-hmm. And we're getting a heck ton of money. Whoops. <laughs> getting a heck ton of money. We're up to 177,000. Awesome. So this is coming in. Coming in nice. We're also getting loot chests. We're getting arrows. We're getting ender pearls. How are you doing, by the way? Yeah, we got a whole bunch of these diamond upgrades in here. So we don't have to worry about those. But guys, if you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, be super turtle. And thank you all for enjoying this amazing mob farm. We're going to be getting bank. So I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Love your face. Bye-bye.